All right, so right now we're in this phase. So let's talk about proofreading this article because some people will just take the article and stick it like it is, but that doesn't really work that way because you have to check the, the grammatical mistakes and also, most importantly, you have to check another thing which is very important, and that is plagiarism. So I'm going to go to the tool known as Grammarly, and I want you to also go to Google if you want to install Grammarly. Just search for Grammarly. Now, I'm not an affiliate with the Grammarly affiliate program, but if I were, then I would have just stuck the, uh, the link to Grammarly from my computer. But you can go to Chrome, Google, right? Go to Chrome, Google, Grammarly, and install the extension. Obviously, I already have it installed. Now, it doesn't take you anything. It doesn't you don't need to pay anything to install this extension on your computer. So just install it. And what it will do is eventually, even when you are on websites and when you write something, it's going to correct your mistakes. So for instance here, you can see that Grammarly tells me that this sentence needs to be rewritten, right? That I need to rewrite it for clarity. This is the advice they're giving me, you know? And right here, when you see the green icon, it does not mean that your word is um, false or I would say that your word is, is incorrect. It just means that you can choose a stronger word. You know, you can, you can pretty much dismiss this. If you don't like this advice, you can dismiss it and it will not ask you that. Now, of course, when something is wrong, it's in red. So pretty much here, there is no wrong sentence. There is only green and blue, right? Uh, blue actually means that you just you can actually make it better if you just take website templates because there is a repetition here so because here website templates website templates there was a repetition and it actually has you know n uh, been notified or it just found out that there's a repetition so that's why it tells you remove it now you can either edit your text here or you can go to grammarly if you have an account with grammarly which you can create very easily and you can try it for free or you can get the premium version like myself. And the reason why I have the premium version is only for one thing. First thing is because of the goals, right? I can set goals for my writing. So uh, let me just take you here swiftly. If I click on goals, I can adjust the goals for this blog. So if I want it to be an email, I can click here email. And if I want the intent to be convince and tell a story, and you can even choose the audience type. So if your audience doesn't have a clue about what you're writing about, you can click audience general. If your audience is expert at what you're writing about, you need to click expert. So let's say that my audience is an expert and the formality here, I mean, I just prefer to be always neutral, not that formal. And I'm gonna click done. So right now that the uh, goal was set, I can come here and just stick my text, my text, I'm sorry, my text that, that uh, chat GPT actually gave me. So here you can see that we have 23 suggestions to modify, the, not the mistakes, but just to modify the text according to the goals that I have set. If I had chosen other goals, then here the suggestions would be different. So I'm just gonna follow these suggestions. Now you, I mean, under no means, I'm asking you to follow these blindly because you need to read before. But when you read and it makes sense to you, then just follow it, right? So here, ebooks, ebooks, right? So there is, you know, repetition there. I'm just going to remove one, right? Be, all right, so this is in passive voice, but I can do nothing about it. So I'm just going to dismiss that. Instead of great, they're asking me to write tremendous. Now, of course, instead of, you know, instead of tremendous again, because there's a repetition here. Uh, we already said tremendous in the text. So right now we have to say some other word. You know, you can't just keep saying tremendous, you know, you know, in all your, your blog, you need to use it. You know, these words, you need to make sure that you're using them, uh, you know, in a you know, small number of times. So here I'm going to say fantastic. So I'm just going to keep choosing here. All right. Uh, instead of system, actually, it should be course because uh, they're always telling me this, you know, I don't know what they have against course, but. I'm just going to keep it at course, you know, and I'm going to dismiss this. Uh, photos, instead of photos, they're saying images is better. Own, right, so this is better. Dismiss this. And basically, I'm just proofreading right now. I'm just correcting the text to make it sound better. But at the end, you know, there is something I want to check. And that's the most important thing, you know. 
Uh, so there you go. Uh, okay, so let's just, there are nine more, nine more mistakes or suggestions that we're going to go through very fast. And after that, we're going to run a plagiarism test, a plagiarism check. All right, so there are two ways that you can run a plagiarism check, either with Grammarly, or you can use a tool called Copyscape. Now, I don't like Copyscape because it's so manual and I have to go to Google and search for it and log into my account and then feed it the text or the text URL and, you know, and I have to also pay for credits. That's the worst part about Copyscape is that you have to pay for the number of times that you want to test. And unlike Grammarly, you just pay for the premium version of Grammarly and you can use their plagiarism tester for the rest of your days if you want. So. In order to run this plagiarism text, oh, uh, test, I'm sorry, all I have to do is to click plagiarism here, and you can see that in the background it's actually running a test. So it says that our text is 7% plagiarism or plagiarized. Now, in order to remove the plagiarism out of the text, just follow through with the suggestions, right? So this is the first suggestion. Uh, it's in green. So in order to make it not plagiarized, we're just going to change a couple of things. Are you looking, instead of looking, I'm going to say, are you seeking, right? Are you seeking, instead of for, are you seeking ways to generate passive income? And you can see that the green color is now disappeared. Uh, one of the best ways to do this, instead of one of the best ways to do this, uh, one of the many ways to do this, right? And hopefully it's going to change that. One of, or, all right, so yeah. So one of the many things to do this is actually, you know, made it no, you know, plagiarism there. So I'm going to click this again, and there you go. This is another, you know, sentence that's causing the 2% plagiarism. You can make money while you sleep. Uh, you can earn money, right? You can earn money instead of make money, right, while you sleep. All right, so that now it's it says it looks like your text is 100% original. So now that our text looks like 100% original and is completely proofread, I can take my text and I can go back to Medium. I know that I have already pasted this text here, but I'm gonna just going to have to delete it and paste my test text back. So I'm going to paste the text here. And next, I'm going to show you how you can use Canva and another software, which is an AI that you can use to generate some amazing photos.